Uh, welcome to uh, C8 Corvette uh, tutorial tutorial uh, 15. Let me just check. Yeah, tutorial 16. And uh, on tutorial 15, I said 14. So uh, yes, the last tutorial was 14, and this is 15. Uh, I will uh, try to change that. So um, in the last tutorial, what we did is we created this grill here. And we were trying to play with this around a little bit. So uh, in this tutorial, um, what we aim to accomplish is uh, create the wing part here, and then add a body uh, behind that grill, so we can add a decal on it, which is going to be a, a sticker of a, um, an intercooler oil intercooler. Not sure. Anyways, uh, yeah, a grill, uh, an intercooler picture in the back of it. So uh, after that, we're going to work on this front section here, this lower front section. And then um, we create this uh, inlet here. And then uh, hopefully the lower lips. OK, so like, let's get to it. So uh, first of all, we, uh, let's, uh, if you mirrored anything over, just take that mirror off for now. And then uh, let's delete this uh, body. Right. I'm not happy with that one. And delete all the sketches that correspond to that body. Okay, and then delete this one here. That's why it gave us this uh, arrow there. That one there. Okay, and then the first thing we're going to do is uh, drop a 3D point sketch, 3D sketch, to about here. And, and instead of creating all that curvature with all that point, like we did last time, what we're going to do is just grab this 3D spline. And just go up from here uh, uh, to about this here to that corner there, and then uh, we're going to from the corner here, and then uh, let's pull this down here. I put this a little bit forward like that, and then uh, straighten out, and then that's exactly you. Exactly what I'm doing, right? So something like that. And let's jump to the top, and then uh, let's add a control polygon onto this uh, sketch here, and uh, let's pull this out to about there. Let me get that spline. Okay, so it's not touching the grill anywhere uh, for us. It's falling out nicely. So um, I'm going to be going to leave that there and leave me this. So press OK on that. Exit the sketch. And let's drop another 3D curvature uh, 3D uh, spline uh, onto uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere here and in uh, Okay, let's jump to the uh, side view here, and then uh, make that line somewhat straight. That down we can, can pull it down. Let's keep it somewhere here, and then uh, pull that straight. Okay, and now let's jump to the top of the uh, model here, and I like to work from uh, this area. So let's jump to the top and then uh, add a profile to this curvature. Uh, something like that, not too much. Okay, exit this sketch. All right, and hopefully this time it won't uh, get into this body. It will probably a little bit, but Hopefully not. All right, so let's create that surface. Let's grab a boundary surface and uh, select your select your manager. Uh, select uh, this other edge all the way to that point. Press OK and then select uh, this line. And then um, let's pull this point back to here. And let's pull this point uh, to here. And then uh, let's go to direction two and select at uh, this point here. And then uh, let's pull this up uh, this corner there, and then that looks good. And 
then let's have a look at from the top. Don't have much stick out like last time it's all a little, a little bit, so so that's good. So press OK on that. And then yeah, much better. All right, so the one more, a few more things we get, need to do on this one is uh extend this surface here and then uh make it linear extend the surface if we can which way is extending it's extending inward okay that's good uh press ok and uh let's go to uh trim surfaces and let's uh, delete this trim tool well, it's automatically selected so let's choose the body and uh, let's get rid of uh this small thing here all right, and then uh, let's have a look uh, top here. Uh, that looks good. Is it? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Okay, so, um, right, so that's perfect. All right, let's save the model now. And then uh, let's uh, put a body. Uh, so let's put a body. Let's see if it's still recording. We are. Let's put a body uh, here like that. But first, we have to create a plane to make that body. So to do that, uh, we're going to uh, draw on the top plane. Okay. And then grab a. Uh, center line on the top plane and just uh, uh, do perpendicular to that body so let's drop it somewhere somewhere uh, there and we can pull it back a little bit but uh, basically this is only for um, for visual purposes for now but uh, uh, later on in the design, we will create a real uh, a real uh, intercooler. It's extremely simple to do, but uh, for now, I just want to put that there individually. So uh, that's going to go like that. Okay. And uh, now we have that plane there. So let's sketch on that plane. And then course we're just going to convert some entities convert this edge this edge this edge okay and let's trim out this here that's perfect all right and now we have that body and now we're just going to jump into the features extrude and we're going to extrude the other way. Okay, that look, that looks good. Bring it down a little bit. That's too much. Okay, that's fine. Okay, press OK on that. All right, so we have the body, and um, uh, what else can we do with the body? Uh, we can can close up around the uh, around the corners in this body just uh, just the hide the whole thing there and let's just uh, jump into surfaces here on boundary surface selection manager uh, let's uh, select these two edges here their selections let's uh, deselect this edge Let's do that again. Okay, so boundary surface, selection manager, select uh, this edge, this one, press OK, and then select uh, this edge here and close that one off. Okay, that's good. And uh, let's do uh, one more down here. Select this edge and the uh, selection manager. Select this one, this one. And uh, this one here, and press OK, and that's closed up now, very nicely. All right. Um, 
Okay, so uh, let's uh, bring back our uh, car show. Right, so now we close that section up. And then uh, let's mirror over the other side. For plane, and then what is zero? Of course, you want to mirror everything over. Try, hopefully, it will let us. Uh, oh, surfaces. Is everything green? Yeah, everything green. Close the body. It's okay, see if it let us do it. Yes, it does. That's good. And then uh, let's hide this plane for now. Let the plane uh, hide that sketch. I need it here. All right. And then um, let's add a let's add a um, high gloss plastic uh, to serve. Here, okay, and then uh, let's add now our uh, visual uh, intercooler onto these spaces there. Okay, so jump over to uh, decals, and then you go on to these uh, ridings here, and then right click and add decal, and then we're going to browse for that uh, uh, picture. I will leave uh, a download link in the description uh, to this picture, but if you can just uh, go to Google and search for intercooler, it will give it to you. But I will leave, try to leave, um, make a create a link uh, in the description for this picture. So I drop this there and then click on the picture here. And then this is the surface we want to put it first. And then let's just, uh, Let's just rotate it straight. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, zoom in on it. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm gonna make the other side on the same size as well. So press OK on that. So intercooler looking over there as well already. So uh, let's drop in here an, uh, an intercooler as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, decal, decal, right. All right, so space. Come on. Okay, jump into decals, add decal, and then uh, roll the stop. Find that, uh, there you go, that's the one. Let's add that there, and then uh, rotate it straight and try to make it the same size and try to make it straight as well so something like this and let's zoom in on it okay come on that's it that's fine and then just zoom it's perfect okay that's good so we got uh oil coolers uh oil intercoolers into the design there all right uh let's see if it's still recording we are okay good um uh, let's create now um this section here let's have a look at the picture but first let's save the model save it Okay, and now uh, let's create that uh, section 
let's create this uh, lower section here and then um yeah create this lower section and then we create the uh this area here it's going to be like it's like uh let's have a look at some of the pictures uh, that we have for that is front if you have a good one do have a good one here so let's use this picture so yeah so there's a lower section and then uh, there's an upper section that goes up on this one so let's create this uh, first this uh, lower section okay so solid here and then uh let's drop the 3d spline from i'm not sure if we should go from uh, here or there let's have a look at it again it's from the inner one right uh, we go from here and that so let's it's starting from there okay so it's starting from here and then uh, make sure you grab it onto this point here and uh, not this point not this point okay so yeah grab onto this point jump to the top and then we want to add a spline point on our uh line that is made curve okay and then uh click this line and add our uh control polygon on there as well let's pull this up so our control polygon becomes visible okay let's drop that control polygon again i will see all my connectors showing up All right. Uh, let's take off that coincidence there. There is our point there. So let's bend that a little bit so we can grab on our point that we're looking for. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's pull this point up here. Let's pull this here and uh, pull back these uh, lines. And then, yeah, so basically, we're looking for uh, something like this. A bit sharper. Jump into our uh, first uh, display state so you can see where the edge is. And uh, grab on that. And so basically, sharp ends up in the end. Uh, right? So, uh, yeah, that's somewhat straight. Pull these lines in a little bit to become so that we can be we become a uh, sharper line in and that's online okay that take that off this this is our line here all right Oh wow! Created some. Wow. Okay. So uh, let's start over on this line. So let's delete this line, and then uh, jump into the uh, first display state, and then uh, create that three uh, D line again. 
Okay, so through the spline, and then um, this corner point, that corner point, and then jump back in. And we're going to add our spline point here. Okay. Let's pull that off there and then bring in our third uh, bit. And then uh, let's put our uh, corner poly. Uh, there. Yes. Let's just uh, pull this handle in. And that will create our sharp edge at the end. Hopefully. Control Z to undo all that. Yeah, let's uh all right. So let's have a look at the front. Okay. Might be a little better from here. And that's our line right there. Okay, so uh, I'm quite happy with that line. And then we'll look at the front again. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's good. All right. Exit the sketch. And then. Um, one more thing we can do is press that and hold that. Control, hold that line. Add a sketch, sign, line, and take that tangent. So control Z. All right, that's fine. Okay, and then um, let's make a sketch on the let's jump into second display state here and then uh, we're going to make a sketch on the uh on the front plane so show All right so show so sketch i'll exit this sketch first and then uh let's make that sketch on the front plane and then we're going to convert uh, these lines, the face here. Okay, so press OK on that. Now let's go normal to profile so we can see our line. Okay, so this is the middle of our edge, the front of the vehicle. And then let's go get that. So uh, let's do a spline. From uh, this point to this point, and uh, let's manipulate that uh, as 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 good as we can. So let's add a, a spline point somewhere somewhere here, and then uh, let's see if we can add our control polygon onto this line, and then. Let's uh, pull that like that. Something like that. So, yeah, we can uh, edit this one, this surface later. So, get your line into uh, this uh, direction. And then we can cut out whatever we need to cut out. So, press OK on that. And that looks good. Okay, so exit the sketch. And then uh, let's add a uh, boundary surface. And then let's select show manager. And then select this edge. And uh, this one here. And then, oh, first, let's exit this. And uh, let's create another uh, sketch here quickly. 
and it's going to get really spine. I'm gonna go from here all the way on this line. Uh, try to make as much spine point as you can at this curve here, so you have that curvature. Hit that point, and then uh, let's hide uh, the low, the other one. Okay, so let's hide this one here. That's perfect. And then um, let's go to surfaces now and boundary surface. And uh, let's the selection manager. Let's choose edges up to this point. And then uh, let's choose this line here. I flip these connectors. And for control for direction two, yeah, let's choose our sketch. Well, we not that. We can maybe see how tangent in space plays out. Well, not good. So, um, you so press OK on that, and uh, that creates uh, exactly what we're looking for. Okay, let's have a look at the picture. So we will cut out uh, some sections in the front here, and then. Um, create these inlets and of course there's going to be a triangle shape here okay so that's good so uh let's mirror this over to the other end and see how it looks uh, front plane and then bodies to mirror is going to get our body there and that's good we have our uh corner that we on that front. Okay, let's hide that plane and jump to surfaces and then trim surface. I mean, I can eat these two together, see the look of it. Eight surfaces. Well, no edges to hit. Okay, so we have to create a boundary surface between the two. Now can them together. Now they are together. That's good. Okay, that's perfect. And uh, of course, we're going to cut out some sections uh, on these corners here. All right. But before we do that, let's thicken this uh, surface. Let's thicken it. Uh, let's not thicken it first. Yeah, because we need to cut some stuff out. So. Um, let me see if it's still recording. We are so, yeah, let's stick in afterwards, right? Let me check if we can knit this uh, body together with this surface, right? So, um, yeah, let's check our picture here. And then we are not looking that bad. So uh, let's cut out uh, these areas here from the surface. So it comes down like that. So jump to uh, the front plane. The front plane. Hold on, let's hide. Yeah. So let's jump into uh, first display state here. Can see the cutout right there. All that plays out. We also need to add the wing part in the front here. So uh, let's add a uh, appearance. Uh, let's add glass. And then let's add blue glass. This front section here. And we're going to make a sketch on this right plane. And then um, I have a look at that picture again. Okay, right. Okay, it seems like uh, it's a bigger uh, cut, and then it goes 
inward a little bit more. Um, still need to make the front part here. Okay, so uh, sketch goes. Does it go like that? Yes, it does. Okay, it's all right. So let's make that sketch. Uh, let's grab a um, let's grab a line, and then uh, first let's corner uh, the piece, this section here, and then uh, let's grab a line from here down to this area. that edge and then I cut the rest out. Okay let's make a center line here and then a mirror over mirror entities. About this line. Okay, and now let's uh, let's cut these sections out. Surface. That. Okay, and that looks good. And then um, let's have a look at without the glass appearance. So maybe just that. And jump over to our second where I displaced it. Okay, and then uh, from this point, uh, um, we're going to add some surfaces invert on these sections here, and then we're going to tick and once we added the. Uh, these surfaces that leans in. Uh, let's have a look at that picture again. Yeah, so we got some surfaces that goes in, right? And we have some cut in uh, here as well. Yeah. We even could create uh, this area here. And that uh, this section is empty. Uh, Created a 3D sketch in the back of it. Come out there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we leave this tutorial here, and then uh, all this one more thing we can do is create that wing part that goes on here, and then we continue with the front part in the in the next tutorial. So let's create this wing section here. Let's have a look at the picture. Okay, so this big section is here to here, going to be a surface. So, again, on the different picture, see one better better hang out. Let's have a look at on this picture. Ah, there you go. Okay, so that kind of hangs out but on uh, at that cut edge. So so that hangs out with, in line with this one here. Okay, goes into it goes into that a little. All right. Okay, so uh, let's make that uh, sketch, and then uh, and that's going to be a three D three uh, D sketch line. And uh, let's go from this edge. There you go. And then we're going to go all the way. In uh, this edge here, right. 
I have a look at the picture again. It goes all the way through. Or it does. Okay. Stops. Stops at the middle way of this section here. Midway. Right, that is a pump up to cut into that as well. Right. Okay. All right. So now that we have that uh, spline, uh, and we are very good with that line there, uh, we're going to jump to the top. And now stop. Not perfect cross. Let's jump from this side here. And it's probably right view right there. And then we're going to grab another spline and we're gonna go from uh, the midsection here because that's the midsection and the midsection of the black one. So let's go from uh, this section here. Let's try to stay on the line here. Okay, and hide the line underneath it. All right, bring that back. Okay, um, well, we need to we need to uh, make a separate catch, of course. Uh, so exit this catch. Where did our sketch go? Okay, let's bring that back. See this sketch show. Going from going from uh, this point to that point. So another separate three D sketch. Uh, it's going to be a spine again. So just stay on the line like that. So there. And then uh, exit the sketch, and now we can hide the one that is underneath that. Good, good, all right. And now we need the direction to uh, pull from, and that is there. Okay, so now we need the direction uh, to create that. We need to add a 3D sketch, and there's going to be a center line, and that center line is going to snip onto this body here. And then we want to add the direction in the Z and X plane, right? Some straight like that. Okay, exit the sketch. And let's try to extrude that surface. Let's extrude the surface, select this line. And uh, select the direction. Then uh, let's just uh, part as much as we need. And that's probably the right size that we need to uh, map. Let's have a look at the picture. Yeah, that's probably, yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so it's flesh. It's flesh. It's, uh, Cut this flesh here with this one, and then the square just comes out here. It's a squarish thing, okay? So press OK on that. So it comes out flesh with this one, and then that picture up again. So it comes out like that, cut them, then that. So it comes out, so it comes out like this edge comes out. Like, it caught in there and then it's going all the way straight there. Okay, let's hide this sketch here. And uh, let's make our sketch on the top plane. Normal to profile. And then this is our surface. And that's the edge of that section there. So let's grab a spline here. And let's grab a line. And then let's start from this corner 
two like that. Cut then that section and I'm just gonna go all the way up to oh exit the sketch and grab a spline instead on this section here. So let's grab that point and grab this edge. Grab this line and then pull that line out like that. And jump to surfaces and trim surface. We already have the trim tool selected and we want to remove this area here. Okay. And that looks good. So uh, let's uh, thicken this surface a little bit. Thicken it with a uh, one millimeter. Okay, uh, let's thicken the, uh, this one here as well, one millimeter. Let's grab it to the other side maybe. So let's try 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And let's try the outside. Let's try the inside. Let's try the section. Okay, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Now take and try the outside. Now inside. Okay, they give us on the inside the thickened comment on that one. So that looks good. And we have this little cut here as well, this uh, ring part. So um, let's mirror it over. Uh, first, let's thicken this one as well. Good. And now let's mirror it over to the other end. Creatures, mirror, and um, from plane. Let me just make this one, not the whole thing. So you will over the whole thing. So, but it's already in touch with that. So uh, we need to find this section, this mural. Let's delete that mural. Let's delete a lot of things. They can command okay all right let's bring that back okay so um miro let's uh try something else front plane uh let's try a futures Oh. Show what it, what it gives us. Okay, now their section. Faces. Just faces because it's not a face anymore. It's a whole body. I don't want to mirror over this whole section because then it's going to create a double section for us, which we don't want. So uh, in the next tutorial, um, we're going to um, fix this and uh, mirror this uh, blade over to the other end and then uh, do this inlets as well and create the honeycomb in these inlets as well and possibly thicken this lower section here. Okay, so see you in the tutorial uh, 17, I guess. All right.